50. I'll bet you not almost at 540. I'll admit not one of them has the herpes. That's why I'm thinking. Oh, no, no, this bitch has the herpes. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, a few of them do. Dude, that is disgusting. What is going on, guys? Ryan here back with another episode of Subnautica. It has been a wildly lagging Christ ball sign. It's been a while since I've been in this game because I'm just kind of waiting for these waves of updates to come out like the precursor like all the freaking lava chamber base everything's like just about complete if y'all check it out on the on like the update page or whatever you call it, they're like literally three out of four five out of six nine out of ten like they're all so close to being created like the egg chamber for the emperor leviathan the emperor leviathan eggs everything's so close to being done so i thought i'd peek my face on in here and see what's like just about nearing completion and i came across something very freaking weird which i just had to share with you guys now Keep in mind this is not a survival video in the slightest, I am going to be fully typing dev commands into the bottom of the screen, which is, um, which is what a lot of YouTubers do when they're actually just checking out Subnautica stuff, so I just, it's just, it'd be like the first time I've done it. It's usually to edit that stuff out just to make it more pretty, but today we can't be, can't be doing it. Alright, so what led to this little weird little thing I just came across, which I'm not even 100% sure, feel free to please comment if you have any information on what's going on in front of me because I'm always just so eager to learn. I've just, I don't know, I've been with Subnautica for so long, it's like watching a kid grow up that I kind of abandoned along the way, but he's still finding his own way. It's not like Subnautica turned to heroin or anything. Alright, so basically what it is, is, it is, it is, is, shit! I was looking up how the player is going to be able to get cysts, which are like disgusting infections and you're going to get them all over your arms and hands and the animation is going to like raise your hands in like agony or just disgust, which I was looking into. Now it already appears, I, I assumed how you got it is bleeders, bleeders biting into you and then getting infected or something, that's what I, that's what I think I remember reading somewhere but I can't remember where exactly. Basically, but I can't you see you see it now look look really quick see I already have like the little green dots Which is which is what I thought the cysts were initially look when I climbed the lot you see it for like a split second on my hand right there It's like disgusting Grubby poo poos. We have little green marks on our we we have some sort of radiation shit on our hand Which is freaking weird, but right now without anything happening if I Spawn not pawn you bastard spawn stalker it comes out a regular old stalker You know about as bloodthirsty and fierce as any of the other douchebags he does bleed, so he can die about two or three slashes and he will cower away every time. We're not worth his life, and he understands that. But, but the weird thing is, all right, so we'll spawn bleeder. Get in here, buddy. Come bleed on me, you little fart. Or make me bleed. Yeah, it's, it's, he draws blood. Come here. Where'd he go? Jesus, way to make me feel unattractive. I gotta go fight to get to this bleeder's attention. There we go, finally. All right, let him nibble on me for a second. See those green marks and veins on our hand? There, I just turned off damage for the sake of close examination, but this is what I initially thought it was, but it turns out they're just already there when you start. Those weird little neo-green, clearly something very going wrong with our hands. Like, that is, that is, looks infectious as shit. I can't remember why, where it was I read that this is what does it to you as well, but look how, look how visible that is. That is, that's straight up like gangrene on your hand. That's worse than herpes. Herpes... You at least know it's gonna stay there. It's not like there's any other females on this planet. If, the, if there are, they probably have herpes too, cause like shit, I don't know. We're all in the same ocean. <laughs> I don't know how herpes spreads. But, uh, uh, uh. but yes, so once, once I retract this little disease right here, what I've come to notice is when I spawn in another stalker, the stalker, the stalker spawns with the disease. The little green disgusting dots all over your arm. Which is just... It's just disgusting if that's an actual thing. If, like, stalkers could actually get diseases and everything, and then you would get a disease. I wonder if that's actually... I wonder if you'd get the disease from coming in contact with a sick animal. That would make more sense than anything. Actually, this one, too. This looks like a great way to get a disease right here. Does this fish want to eat my bleeder? So when I turn no damage back off, now I'm taking damage. Gotta kill the little bastard. And now I believe I am infected with something. Because now when I spawn in a stalker... Spawn stalker... Wait, nope, did something wrong. There we go, now this one is all smelly poo poo. Look at this thing. This is like, this has to be, cause it has the same green little markings as what's on our hand. That's, like look at this thing, those are like, those are not natural. And he's all, his skin's all cracked. He's extremely aged, that is foul. Like he does not look well. Especially if you got a regular, we'll go look at a regular stalker after this just for like straight up comparison. We all know what stalkers look like, but it's helpful if you just have them right next to each other. But just look at this guy, he's got the same little green, like this, this does not look like a well creature right here. This shit is, is sticky, ew, it moved! 
Holy crap, that thing is moving. That is the, is that a pulsing, like, lava wart or, like, pulsing cyst? That is so disgusting. So here he is. Here's the, the stalker, the stalker that I assume is infested with cysts or some sort of disgusting disease. It's like, look at these guys. They have, like, baby skin compared to them. Get over here. Get over here, you bastards. Whoa, no, you don't. Okay, there we go. Perfect shot. Perfect comparison right there. Shut up, lady. Look at this thing. This normal stock. Completely smooth skin. Not a single thing about it. Not a, well, obviously not a cyst, but look out. And, and then, just when they're sick, when they are aged, they are so damn aged that this thing just looks, oh, it looks grotesque. Such a cool little thing to just randomly come across as well. I don't know if they're already in the game, but I assume they're not, because cysts are still being worked on. That's why I was... I was just kind of checking on all the updates to see how far they're moving along. So here he is, guys. Here is this insanely sick... Oh my god, did you just spread? Hang on a second. Did you just spread or was that one over there? What's going on here? That disease... Okay, there's three well ones, two sick ones. You can't... No, 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 no. Four well ones. Didn't see you there, buddy. Alright, so go away, little... Luckily, I do have a, um... I do have a, what do you, what you gonna call it? What you, reinforced dive suit, so I'm set to take damage. All right, don't bring it here, girlfriends. Don't do it, you, the sick ones are still douchebags. You think it would bring a little apathy to their lives, being sick and all, man, that is malarkey. See, I would turn off damage to see if that would retract the, um, I mean, to see if, just, just so they wouldn't be able to pipe me and then I could watch them, like, safely spread this disgusting stalker herpes amongst each other like it's a freaking high school bonfire. But, um, then I'm not sure if the no damage would get rid of their ability to get the disease as well. Assuming that's what happened. Assuming that's not just the other sick stalker. But, I mean, it should be able to. It's not complete, though. If that is the disease and not just some rare stalker, I assume it's not. The thing looks straight up, like, a thousand years old at twenty years old. It's like the Benjamin Button Stalker. They seem to take on normal actions though. They're still as hostile too. So yeah, I would, actually I would imagine that's how you get sick. It's just coming across one of these guys or just the wrong bleeder. It's disgusting. Foul, foul creature. All right, don't mind us. Just gonna look for our escape box. There's one more little awesome thing I was checking out. Which is funny, because it's been in the game forever, but it looks like they finally made it actually Subnautica officially pretty. Which is important to me, because Subnautica is like the most gorgeous game in existence. Except for Halo. Halo can do anything, and it's the best in everything, and I'm stuck that way forever. <laughs> it's these things right here. And by the way, for everyone wondering if I'm going to start another survival series, I definitely am. There's just, it literally like the lava prison, everything's about to be complete. I was just like, it's, it's spectacular. It's all going to be so cool, the storyline will be complete. These little, oh, nose itch. These little things, rats, ooh, the transfuser. That's something I want to play with too. But it just never works, man. It just never, it's like, it's been in the game forever, but it's never been properly used for its exact, for its exact thing. Although it'll probably be nearing completion soon. See, it should just be sample DNA, and now you have the sonar. You like the sonar DNA, whatever, and you're supposed to be able to inject it into eggs. And then the creature will have it its whole lifetime or inject it to a creature and it'll have it like it's short short time or something like that. Sonar gives creatures the chance to find metal, then you could like take uh, reef bag DNA and it makes creatures larger and certain things like that. I'm not really sure where that left off, but damn it would it be freaking sweet. Uh, this rat meow. Where are you sir? The pipe surface floater. Just so cool, look at this little, it's, it's even got like a filter on top it looks like. Even though it's most certainly just to keep water from getting into it. And then pipage. Now, pipes have been in the game for freaking ever. Like, it's, these used to just be little blue pipes that you would have go down, and they did they did let oxygen down to any depth, and that was magical. But now it's so much more scientifically explained. It looks so much more pretty with these things. Like, I'm so ecstatic about this. This is how my whole base is going to be ran right here. You and then you. All right, so first you take your thing I forgot the name of. Would you pipe surface floater? Should have figured. It floats on the surface and it holds pipes. All right, let her down, let her go. Weird how things lag when I first released them, but this is all experimental stuff in experimental mode. So yeah, here's this little magical contraption and here's how you're gonna get oxygen down to anywhere in the world. Like how awesome that is. It just looks, it looks so much better than when it's just a little blue tube. That really didn't have any science behind it how it was delivering air. This is just magical. I'm gonna have this going all around like the entire landscape down around my base. 
I'll never have to worry about going up again. I'll be a total sea person who just stays down below for, for months at a time. Only coming up for chips. Be just like me in my room regarding my kitchen. <laughs> Look at this. And there he goes. It actually can, replenishes your oxygen very freaking fast. But more importantly than that, more importantly than the survival aspect, is it's just downright neatness. Now, it, I wish I could show you guys what it looked like before. I'm sure many of you know what it did. I was just a blue tube coming down, and it wasn't very... It was just it was just random and not complete. Now, this, this is something I can take pride in right here. This game is so damn good. I can even make waves and make it bounce myself. What a world we live in. So yeah, here you go. This is the other thing I was super excited about right here. It was like, you can just jam up oxygen delivered down to anywhere. No more mining facilities left unattended because you needed to go get air. Although, that wouldn't really work because you'd have to mass stockpile the resources anyway. Which means you'd have a sea moth or more preferably a cyclops nearby. And that's how that shit would go down. Look at this though. Once I've died and I'm not infected with the herpes, I just can't spawn in any of... Oh, oh, ball sack, ball sack, ball sack! Woof! Look, I'll, look, blah, 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 spawn, stalker, 50. I'll bet you not almost at 540, I'll bet not one of them has the herpes. That's why I'm th Oh, no, no, this bitch has the herpes! Oh my god, holy crap. Oh, a few of them do. Dude, that is disgusting. Never mind, look at that, I'm not even infected. See, I just literally figured this out, like, when I was just playing around Subnautica. And then decided to record it to see what you guys thought about why some of these stalkers have these disgusting infections all over them. What's going on there? And should I be wearing gloves? Or preferably a condom? So even though I'm not having sex with anything, my Johnson is still in the water. You know, you swim with one of us, you're swimming with all of us. So, so that's the thing. See, as far as the prison goes so far, ah, oh, it's pretty dark down here. Isn't it? I think we might have floated into a wall. These coordinates usually don't fail me, but I feel like there's the abs- Oh, oh, red hands. Red hands, that's a dead giveaway that there's lava around us. Oh, oh, we've discovered something. Well, this just doesn't make any damn sense. How are we- Oh, there we go. Oh, no, we're in here. This is- This is what we have so far. It's usually all much more red and full of lava. There's his gorgeous ass- And here we go. Ba-boom! I knew I had red hands for a reason. So here's how this beauty, beautiful place is developing. What I really can't wait for though is the Sea Emperor Incubator. Oh, that's why we have dev commands on you bastard. Is the Sea Emperor, uh, pfft, Sea Emperor Incubator and Sea Emperor Eggs. That's gonna be awesome because that's why there's like the spawn Sea Emperor and then there's the spawn Emperor, is the Emperor Baby? No, it's spawn Baby Emperor. Ha ha, shit. There we go, there's that little fart, little fart poopers. Where'd he go? I think this guy just straight up took him. There he is, and boom, boom this little fart right behind him. There you go. See, that's why they have the Sea Emperor baby in the game already. It's because Sea Emperor eggs are coming in soon in the Sea Egg Emperor incubator, and they're just breeding them, and shit's, shit's crazy. I wonder how they have sex. I would like to see that. Not for, like, weird reasons, but just for, for the sake of science, man. That's actually... How do squids do it? I gotta look this up after this. I'm curious. And this, of course, will be our stupid asses floating down here. This is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen as soon as you come down here and your nice little cyclops thing and you're just playing Subnautica having a nice little day and fireballs overtake your life. I honestly can't wait for that day so freaking much. It's like the whole reason I can't wait to just start a new survival series. It's gonna be so exciting to get eaten by a sea dragon. Alright, so yeah, here's this Subnautica video. I am sorry for how short it is if you guys expected a long one, but this isn't like a survival episode video, which will be much longer because you have a lot of stuff to take care of. I was just dead curious what that freaking herpes is growing on the side of stalkers, and if anyone knew if it was like cysts or just diseases or if that's how you get cysts or what's going on there because, I don't know, until the updates are official, it's all just kind of what we can figure out. So yeah, definitely comment down below anything you know. I'm always super happy to hear it, and um... Yeah, if you had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace!